This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestlingmayhemshow. And we do talk a lot about Pittsburgh wrestling, but there's a lot of great stuff to discuss, including a great charity event that uh, is now an annual event uh, with the part due of Stomp Out Cancer coming up here. We're going to be talking with a whole crew about that here this week on the show but uh in the meantime please check out everything at wrestlingmayhemshow.com please uh of course subscribe to us on the podcast for uh, uh apple music podcasts alex thank you um stitcher speaker iHeartRadio, google play podcast and of course video versions on the wrestling mayhem show uh facebook page and uh youtube page as well as the indie wrestling.us uh, website and uh, Facebook as well, where we do usually do the live streams. And today is kind of a pop up one uh, where we got it lined up. And maybe we didn't tell you guys about it, but you can hop in and become part of the conversation. So make sure you like the page at indywrestling.us uh, so you can, you know, see when we do plan things. Hop in when you uh, do see us pop up, like our friends like Keith, Keith Hodd and Billy Johnson out there watching right now. Thank you so much, guys, for checking out the show and supporting. And, of course, if you like everything that's going on here, please support the show at patreon.com slash show, where we are giving away fun prizes uh, monthly in fun ways that involve video games. I'm just going to leave it at that. You can watch the Wrestling Mayhem show to, to as we discuss uh, how that goes down. But in the meantime, I have with me... Um, oh, what did I say? I, I described... I think I tweeted this one time. Like, these are the three guys that actually run Pittsburgh Indie Wrestling. Uh, so- <laughs> See, so, yeah, no uncomfortable questions tonight, right? Uh, so, uh, for uh, sorry, I'm having some audio issues with my headphones. There we go. Uh, with us, we got, of course, Jesse the Mark with us, graphics extraordinaire. Hello, Facebook land. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and the guys you've heard either everything from commentary to tearing your ticket or, or, or taking your money at, at, at the front door a lot of times. We have Matt. Tressler and Kenny Tressler yep. hanging with us today. So, what was it Classic Kenny? Classic Ken. Classic Ken. That's right. Don't call him Kenny. Don't call him Classic Call. I really him. don't like to be called Kenny. Don't call anymore. him Kenneth. <laughs> Kenneth is don't call, yeah, not Kenneth either. Wait, do I need to change? Do I need to change your your, your, your <laughs> thing? No, Ken, Kenny's fine on there, but <laughs> it's good here. Yeah. Okay. I just. Just go not, by Ken most not, of the time. You're just now. professionally, you're a Ken. I go by Ken yeah. most <laughs> of the time now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so professional Ken. Uh, professional of course, Ken. a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to change it to that now, you know? Uh, you know? You usually get a new nickname when you come on this show. Ask Earthquake. <laughs> um, thank you, Matt Light, for that. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> jeez. Uh, I like to break the ice a little bit here. And, of course, we got a lot of you here on this week to talk about Stomp Out Cancer. Great event coming up here. Um, but uh, I, I'm sure we're going to have some fun answers for this. What is your first memory of pro wrestling? I'll go first. All um, right, you got this, Jesse. My earliest wrestling memory um, is flipping through channels at my uncle's house on Thanksgiving and seeing Survivor Series. I don't remember what year it was. Flipping through the it channels, was. it was just on. He had like he, I think he had like a pay per view box or something. Oh yeah, one of those. Still yeah. on cable. You mean, still on cable. Still on cable. Jesse's <laughs> <Jeff's still on laughs> Yeah, one of those so, scramblers for the big yeah, dish yeah, yeah. in the back that you had to mow around. Yeah, I have no idea what year it was. I don't remember who was on it. I just remember seeing like the running down the lineup of Survivor Series, and I really wanted to watch it. and I didn't know what it was, but what got me hooked was. Um, it was the build-up to Survivor Series 91. Mm-hmm. It was Hogan was on the funeral parlor with Paul Bear, and um, The Undertaker came out, and, like, I think he threw him in the casket or something. And Yeah, I, it, it's all fuzzy, but, yeah. Yeah. Those are my earliest wrestling memories. Nice. All right, what about, who wants to go first out of you guys? I'll, I'll go Kenny, next. You got it? Ken, uh, Ken got it. I'm going to do this whole show. Um, <laughs> we, were, we were at our, our, our grandma and grandpa's house, and... Uh, he had NWA on, and Dusty Rose was cutting a promo. From that minute on, I was hooked. I mean, Dusty Rose sold me. It was that—that's my first memory, and that hooked me on wrestling. Is Dusty Rose? 
What was he talking about? Oh, jeez. Hard know. times. Hard, hard times. times, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go with that one. <laughs> He's had so many memorable promos, I, you know. Awesome. I think I might have been five or four or five at a time. And we were just talking about how, like, I had, like, no idea of NWA or anything like that. So, awesome. Uh, what about you, Matt? Um, just Kenny. No, nothing particular sticking out, but just Kenny waking me up Saturday mornings, being like, you know, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning, TBS, wrestling's on, and... Or wrestling, watching over my uh, my grandpa, watching wrestling with my grandpa, mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So who was so he was? Were you the first, Ken? Yeah, I'm yeah three, three years, years older. older than that. Yeah. Okay, um, that discovered it, and you just kind of latched on. From... Yeah, like uh, hey, uh, get up uh, early, you know, Saturday morning cartoons and wrestling. Mm -hmm. Like so, like oh, he yeah. got me. Yeah, just got me right into that, and yeah, from then on, it was I was hooked. Awesome. So was this like a uh, your 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 bonding experience? Sure, or fighting about it. You're basically <laughs> always everywhere together that I've ever seen yeah, yeah. you. So I don't think you can yeah, get separated at this point. <laughs> Not anymore. He he used to take. He used to go down to PWX shows, and I while I do like somebody at Super Indie asked me, have, "Have I been to every Super Indie?" And I'm like, "Yeah." And he's like, "Well, you and your brother." And I'm like, "No, he's went to PWX and on on Super Indie nights instead of mm -hmm. he missed out on um Super Indie two. I remember very specifically. Yeah, from uh, CCAC with no, that was wow. White. No, wait, yeah, 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 we just off. had what seventeen now. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, that kind of tells you. Right? He wasn't mm -hmm. at one with Onru either. So that was three. Yeah. Yeah. So he missed yeah. two and three. Awesome. But yeah, it was hooks and from then on. So so like I say, you guys are, are kind of like anytime like uh, uh, you know we're at the shows and stuff. Like you're just referenced as the indie guys. <laughs> you know, I I and, and I know I started uh, coming around um, um, indie wrestling here in the area in two thousand six seven ish probably six um whenever whenever shirley doe lost the eye uh, was, was, <laughs> i know it was around then <laughs> no excuses to no excuses august to. 2006 and who put who, who took his eye out uh, denny was it denny gregory or sterling? oh i see was i always sterling? i always sterling cite, with the sword right? it's or style it's sterling sword and sterling i think it was sword, but denny, denny did, it. did it yeah and so of course sterling james keenan now known as Corey graves yeah him. um used to be you know taking eyeballs all over Pittsburgh, I guess. Uh, that could be a whole different character. Um, but anyways, like, anyways, I started going, and you were going, you were always there. Right. <laughs> like, that was actually the show Kenny had his shark attack. That was your first show back after your shark after attack. More. Yeah. You had a shark attack? Oh, God. <laughs> we don't have to this go deep so into this. Topic. No, we don't have to go deep in this, but I've never, this is, this is literally like, a shark attack has not been discussed on the wrestling show yet. <laughs> Oddly enough, a shark attack, or I wrestled a gator. Different, <laughs> different, different stories are out there. They're he, better than what actually happened. He wrestled oh, a handicapped geez. parking. It is actually better than what actually happened. <laughs> shark attack. He, he tried to he tried to drive between two handicapped parking signs with his elbow out the window. Oh, broke huh. his elbow and on a party. We were supposed to have a party that night and everything. So. Jeez. Okay. We went everything. I don't know what's more interesting uh, before or, uh, inside or outside <laughs> wrestling at this point, right? Uh, but any, but but how did how did this like kind of I don't know this weird this this bond come together with you guys around indie wrestling uh, and I, how long have you guys kind of been around? I didn't like Jesse this, when we first met him. Scene? Nobody. Oh yeah. Yeah. No. He, you were brought to a show by ben, po ben and Potter, I believe, down to Connorsville. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. so well, we're, ben we, were, we were on quite a few years before Jesse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like we, yeah, we yeah. started com going in '96, so like, mm -hmm. yeah, and then you started coming when I started going in 2000, but I started like hanging around like backstage in like 2002. That's when I was officially brought wow. in. Yeah, Potter and Ben brought you to a show, and I'm like, July yeah, yeah. 2000. I don't think we should hang out with this guy. Like, he's not, he don't <laughs> fit in our group. Like, and then I became like jesse's number one advocate whenever so many other people were like mm -hmm. screw jesse i'm like no jesse's my boy i, I, st I thought he was a jackass back then <laughs> can i say jackass yeah you he, can you can say a lot more than jackass actually. Right. we put an explicit he, tag on this just because of the music at the beginning he still kind of <laughs> does think i'm a jackass <laughs> yeah but I, now i think i'll be more of a little brother a little, lovable jackass he's but, like a little brother so you guys i mean i've had a lot of discussions on here about people like hey you don't have to be um you know uh, uh, in the ring to be a part of indie wrestling. There's always like a spot for people. Right. right. And it seems like you guys, again, are always kind of around and supporting. Like I've never seen anybody like, like again, at every show, like even especially um, uh, this year, you're doing, you guys, well, I think a lot of you, all of you guys are doing the, like kind of the, the, Show number post. No, 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 they are. You, pay, you, you stole it a couple I, times. I, I, did, I, did it a couple I thought times. You, I saw you do one. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah, like, like you know that kind of thing. And I realized like, oh god, those guys are always there. 
you know. The, the most we ever did in a year was like 92 shows in one 92 year. 92 shows. There are 52 weeks in a year. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, and there's there's some Sunday shows, especially down in West Virginia. We would do like, there's some four shots, triple shots. Yeah, like four or five shows in a, in a weekend. Like, Gee, go, wow. Like, well, then you go out to... What, are you double shotting? Yeah. Like, was, yeah. Yeah, like we would do double shot, and like you go out to a fair show, and like there would be two or three fair shows in one oh. day, so you pick up three shows. So, I mean... So, you figure you're watching 24 matches in one day. Yeah, it was... Three shows. <laughs> it was, that, I mean... But that was when that was like 2001, 2002. It was like you were making towns. No, oh, it was. Oh, we were back <laughs> we then. Have, didn't have to worry about a car. Like mom, my mom was still alive. Like was taking care of a lot of stuff, and mm. we didn't have a lot of worries back then. But mm. wow. Uh, so how did you guys kind of come in and become involved at, at this capacity? Oh, like we started. Uh, we started. Yeah. We well, we started going in '96. And slowly, slowly then we, we started doing a newsletter, mm-hmm. and we did newsletter for years. And, I mean, the newsletter took us all over Ohio to the ECW arena. And, like, got a, like we were just telling a story last week to somebody about how Rock and Rebel mm-hmm. was the one that took us in the back door of the ECW arena. We got to walk through the curtain. And, like, before they remodeled stuff and everything, it was, it was just, like, surreal. Like, we're walking through the curtain. Like, it just – but we did a newsletter for years. And then, I mean – I became friends with Norm in like 96, 97, and Norm kind of called me all the time. Hey, what do you think of this idea? What do you think of this idea? Mm-hmm. And that progressed, and then whenever he started up IWC, like I was still helping out whatever way I could, and then like he asked me to work to the front door, and like I can trust you with my money, and then it shows he couldn't make it in. It was mm-hmm. he trusted me to run the front by seeing well, Doe and, and Hentai ran the back room and everything, so but and then pretty much got her hands and everything else like just by quinn trust me and mm-hmm. and stuff over pwx and yeah i ca- i was on quinn about the comment to come to your pwx at the time sucked i mean you can all agree with me on that mm-hmm. right the guys sucked buffalo mm-hmm. and i i kept yeah, buffalo mm-hmm. and i kept on quinn about let me let, give me a shot give me a shot give me a shot finally one day at uh jacob ball jacob ball pavilion quinn said okay you got your shot and i've been doing commentary off and on for 10 years mm-hmm has it been that long already? And I, I've got, I basically got to do IWC because of that. I've done RWA, uh, BDW. Mm-hmm. I've got to be around because of that. That's awesome. That's awesome. What about you, Jesse? Um, I just, I, uh, I needed a ride to a show once. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, how has that changed? You still need a ride to shows. How'd you get um, here today? Who, who drove here? <laughs> um, no comment. All uh, right, that was Matt. It was well. It was PWX was running Connellsville every month at the time. And uh, I, w- I had started talking to, to BC Steel and uh, Bobby Williams, Potter, Robert Parker Williams, whatever you want to call them. And they were like, hey, you should come to this Connellsville show. And I'm like, I don't even have anywhere to get there. And they were like, we'll get you. <laughs> and they, they brought me with them and made sure it was all right. I came in before everybody else and helped set up the ring and everything. And still had to pay for a ticket, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Uh, I was I was dabbling in web design at the time because GeoCities was awesome. And oh, GeoCities! <laughs> and, uh, that's that's really the first time we met Jesse. Was right that was that, that show? That, yeah, that show, yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, and they they needed somebody to do their website because I think Nikita Alanov was doing it at the what, time. Where was Kevin? No, Kevin wasn't there yet. Okay. Um, Nikita Alanov was doing it at the time, and he didn't want to do it anymore. So mm-hmm. they're like, "Hey, do the PWX website." Here's, and, a, t- here's a ticket, kid. Yeah, basically, I did it for free <laughs> tickets, and yeah, and then uh, Norm knew I was doing it, and a couple years later, asked me to do theirs, and yeah. There now, you go. Now you're doing like how many different um, fans? And... Yeah, that's the thing because you you are connected with like Same. almost everybody here in the <laughs> Southwest PA. Like, actually, off the top of my head, everybody but RWA that I'm, uh, I'm KSW, aware of. Yeah, KSW, yeah, you do not, yeah. of course. Um, um, Code Red, I don't work for them. Uh, Code Red, uh, like, I don't think they, just they, they work hit. anymore, do they? <laughs> you just got hired by Rise. Oh uh, yeah, Chicago. Rise with an I. At Rise with I'm a Y. Oh really? You did you? So you got you? You have all the Rises <laughs> locked down at this <laughs> yeah. point. Wow. Um, IWC, PWX, Fight, Fight Society, uh, Angel Gate, yeah, um, AIW, Premier Chang- Championship Wrestling, Rise with an I, Rise with a Y, uh, Joe Dash Nebraska dot com. Um, <laughs> Montreal there's, Theory. There's probably something I'm forgetting. And I'm wow. sorry. Cancer. So, 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 <laughs> cancer. Some about cancer. There you go. So either way, um, your your artwork is well represented on Smart Mark Video. Yes. <laughs> oh, I work for Smart Mark Video too. Oh, there you go. Oh, wait, you do like direct work? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's, what, that's what I was forgetting. That's amazing. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> that, that's always been impressive because and I, I've always been, um, I mean, I've, I've told you, or maybe I tell other people, I don't know if this gets back to you. Um, I've always impressed about their development over the years. Of, and you can see it when you look oh, at the yeah. back of the DVD covers. Right, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? um, my, my work from 2006 is uh, vastly superior oh, to what yeah. I do now. Oh, yeah. Lots of like <laughs> lightning backgrounds yeah. and, and things like that and weird <laughs> like fade-ins and stuff. Like I had that phase. At least I don't think you had the bevel and boss phase like oh, I think I, I had. Oh, oh you did? I, did. Oh, I think yeah. everybody has that when they go to art school, right? Mm. Like one guy would just yell, you just bevel and boss that bitch and just, <laughs> just roll. I was like, what the hell are you doing right now? Um, <laughs> Drop but, shadow and stroke. It's your friend now, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> it's like, I, I'm sorry, we're getting graphic nerdy on this wrestling podcast. Um, but that's wrestling. incredible because like you have a visual representation in a lot of the biggest, like AIW making big strides, oh, yeah. you know, strides, you know, all over the place because they just those they, guys are fucking. Who, who, they had Ronda Rousey amazing. on a show before. Uh, right. WWE who did. who was right. it? Booker T or who was it that tweeted your the, the money? Oh, um, the, the money sign wasn't it? Like the money. Oh uh, no, it was uh, Kevin Kevin Steen. Kevin Steen, time. yeah. Uh, t- it was a uh, nothing but a G thing. I did the nothing but a G thing album cover. We completely recreated it from scratch. Put his face in the middle instead of Dr. Dre. That was. And uh, he said, this is the most accurate representation of me in any <laughs> wrestling poster ever. <laughs> and, that, and that, you know, we, we name dropped a little bit of Corey Graves, of course, uh, yeah. Kevin Steen, Kevin Owens now. Like, you guys, you know, I'm always impressed even just the, the few few years in comparison of feels. Um, and I, I'm creeping on 10 years in the video uh, uh, for this stuff. And, uh, you know, how many people come through all the promotions, especially in Pittsburgh and everything else, you know, AIW, things like, like that that you're involved in. And then um, I know for me it's surreal look, watching Monday Night Raw and be like, okay, no, right. I remember him. He oh, did yeah. that thing. And you, know, you saying, hey, he tweeted that thing. You know, yeah. I, I, like, like, what is that landscape, especially you guys like kind of introducing wrestling and realizing like how anchored, integrated you kind of are in that thread now? I, th- I think at, it's at least, at least an experience. Right? I think it's crazy. I mean, watching, watching Mania and I'm like, he ripped tickets for me. Mm-hmm. Logan, Logan ripped tickets for me. Like, it's a, like, like that, that <laughs> he's, he's fighting where money in the bank day and he's uh fighting for the intercontinental right, championship it just boggled like yeah. but he was with under like he was with cena like one of the big spots mm-hmm. on mania and, mm-hmm. and that's a kid who ripped tickets for me and like oh yeah super respectful kid and like and he didn't want to take his shirt off for the first for his first first promo picture that i took jeez he, he did not want to take his shirt off because he was like really self-conscious and yeah <laughs> it's amazing. Remember, he, he always used to wear that big baggy mm-hmm. like gray t-shirt every show and he finally like took his shirt off to wrestle and we're like where did that come from? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it's a you know, you know something like that. I remember, he had the airbrush tights, tights and the, uh, mm-hmm. the, the 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 mic stand yeah. that he was spitting lyrics. You mm-hmm. know, proto Elias, yeah. right? You know, things like that. I was it's, just talking to somebody. Like, sorry, I, I was just talking to somebody last night. He used to come to IWC shows, and he's like, "You remember when Punk helped you? Was helping you mop the floor to you and Tom VFW?" <laughs> oh, yeah, like, and, yeah, yeah, punk, yeah. Because we it's, didn't have trainees. And, yeah, and, and a lot of the crew just took off, mm-hmm. but Punk stuck around with punk the, and Cabana. Stayed and there, there was mop uh, the floors with a soldier. Soldier, yeah, yeah, yeah soldier. Uh, he, he, those were the guys who stuck around and, and helped and helped mop the floor and stuff. And help, uh, helped us set up every table. Six chairs at every table so they could do bingo the next and night. And Soldier was one that was doing the international kind yeah. of title defenses with IWC. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if he had done anything bigger than that. Really. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think even think so. he wrestles anymore. Okay. Yeah. So we we're going to be probably yeah. off, offhand dropping a lot of local Pittsburgh names for anybody yeah. out there that's uh, uh, beyond. But I'm sure um, Shirley Doe could explain what Soldier is doing today. I, uh, yeah, I'm I mean, sure he can. Yeah. I'm sure he can. Um, but uh, it, it's, it's surreal buying... Uh, Xbox games off of like the guy that had one eye at the wrestling show you know, <laughs> for me a little bit. Um, so playing as Johnny Gargano on uh, WWE 2K18 <laughs> is the right. weirdest thing. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Because I mean, definitely you saw a lot of that. I mean, you worked with? Yeah. Did you work with Prime Wrestling PWO as well? Yeah. Oh yeah. Which of course is pretty much his home promotion. Mm-hmm. Right? And uh, well, yeah, he was AW before then too. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, it's it's it, CWE. Ran out of young, Youngstown. Yeah. I remember. That's I remember I seeing a little bit of that, like um, I don't know, on MySpace or something at the yeah, time. Yeah, and it, we were talking. It was me, Dombrowski, and Johnny were talking about Aunt Annie's pretzels in the locker room for some reason. <laughs> like <laughs> that was the first time I met Johnny Gargano. Johnny yeah. told us one time at a P, at a well, he was at a PWX yeah. just hanging out, and he talked to us about how he remembered like uh, at St. Michael's Gross Hall for CWA, where his dad was work, wrestling for Gmo. 
like we were out there selling newsletters and stuff. Like he was six years old in the crowd. Right? Yeah. Like, us? like we were selling newsletters out there. It was like I remember that. 90, 99 or so. We were out there selling newsletters, and it's like it just it's crazy. Like mm. and now he's five yeah. star Johnny Wrestling. Hey, and I didn't watch. Don't, don't tell me no who won. No, I'm, 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 I'm gonna, gonna be watching in about two hours. Two hours so. Last night, so. <laughs> <laughs> no 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 uh take over spoilers in the chat room please uh yeah it's great so what is like the weirdest story you know of somebody that you've seen that you're allowed to tell on the internet <laughs> yeah. that is now like readily on a pay-per-view on wwe network or has been or may have gotten their face kicked in in ufc uh, i mean i think it was potter I'm- potter's birthday party we were at a local a local strip club <laughs> and <laughs> And me, Sterling, James Keenan, and another one of our buddies, we like were cheap, so we would always go like we would go out to the car and pregame, and then like we'd go out to the car and you know take our shots and stuff, so we wasn't paying paying for the prices. Yeah, me, me, Sterling, and our, our buddy Jorge was would go out to the car, and like it's so random. Like after he made it, it was like wow, like he, like Matt was always down to earth. Matt, Matt was always like a fan, like still. Mm-hmm. Like I remember when he worked talking about Dragon, it was like. Like he was like told him came back from so Italy. excited. Yeah, he got came back from Italy and it was like I worked Ultimo Dragon. It's like and he was giddy. It was like, mm-hmm. and like I, got, you see I got to sit in the five poolside with Ultimo right. Dragon and, right. and, and yeah, and yeah. you still feel that. Like I think that's one of the reasons he does so well in the commentary right. because oh, yeah. you can like kind of tell like he's freaking excited, yeah. right? And and into it. It's it's his dream job. That's mm-hmm. like that's he that's why he's still there. He wanted to work so hard just to keep his dream job. And mm-hmm. it, it's, Hogan was on one of the shows. Might been what Diego did and still Diego. I don't know. And oh yeah, 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 I know what you're talking about. Sterling and, and Little Sam were in the crowd. Look, we they were like straight uh, across. Sam, from us. Little Sam, Sam Alliance, <laughs> yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. 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 he'll always be little Sam. Does. Sorry, Sam he's Adonis. little Sam to me. Sam Adonis, Sam Adonis. yeah, Sam Adonis. Uh, I want to think this is like August 2007. But Raw. they were right across from us, and you look over there's there's Sterling standing up doing like, Hogan. Yeah, poses. Hogan's pointing pointing out to the crowd. <laughs> and Hogan, he's doing Hogan poses in the crowd. <laughs> we're all we're all on hard cam, like. Because we got we got our tickets from Steve Colder at the time, and like there's a bunch of workers all over there. But he, and Hogan's like pointing to hard cam side, and like we're over there, like we're I mean who cares? It's Hogan. It's Hogan. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and yeah, we yeah. look over, and Sterling's doing this, like I mean, he was just Sterling to us still. That was, that was 2007, yeah. so he he had worked probably Ring of Honor at that, yeah, at yeah. that point. Yeah, and yeah, he... yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, anything else? Um, you guys uh, think of anything? I can't even think of it. Top of my head, I can't. Top of my head, I'm sure it's something involving Sterling because he's just the most readily prominent person from Pittsburgh besides Mm -hmm. Elias, and Mm -hmm. yeah, and he's he's probably more of a playing video games with Shane Taylor was always fun. Like I don't know, like, and he lives with Fodder and stuff. Like Mm -hmm. Shane Taylor was always great to be around. Um, Another guy that came back recently. Like that's always been cool. Like whenever. A Shane Taylor comes back, you know, to IWC or, or Sam Adonis. Like I, I think I, in passing at RWA, had met Sam Adonis, and then like he came in uh, that first show back last year, and on top of like his entire family like filling a bleacher. I think all Elizabeth which is, was there. Oh well, yeah, 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 exactly right. <laughs> and um, and uh, you know, but it was like the coolest like. I've never seen somebody walk into the locker room that like everybody was happy to see. Right. Oh, yeah. Like like like. Because I didn't realize like half the people there had seen him like literally grow up. Right, yeah. Oh, yeah. Little Sam used to sit in a crowd. It would be us three, Little Sam, and like I remember being at PWR shows and it would just be like 10 people and it would be our corner, us three and Little Sam over in a corner and like maybe maybe six other people in the crowd for a show mm-hmm. at, at uh, on Walnut. I, so. I, uh, I did a, a quick crappy Geocity site for Sam when he was trading tapes. And he was like, make sure you put Liger and uh, Misawa and such and such on this banner. And then you have to have this list of tapes and this list of tapes. And make sure you update it and you got to put these tapes on. Like, Sam, Sam was a really good customer of mine. Customer of mine. <laughs> like, uh, and I used to sell tapes. Stuff, yeah. oh, he, he, when he came in for that show you're talking about, he came, he's like, I wouldn't be where I was if I didn't buy those tapes from you. And he was telling people, like it was coming up at the end of the night. And he was like, this guy helped me get where I got because he would, say, he would sell me tapes of Japan, all these different Japan stuff. And I, like, Sam was always, like Sam was like his dad, his dad just did an interview, and I heard his dad say he was like always a student, like always wanting to learn. Oh, and yeah. Sam, Sam knew so much about Japan stuff when he was ten years old. Oh yeah. That we yep. we like wouldn't venture to know now. Like they, they, he's got knowledge like like Shirley Doe does, like of mm-hmm. obscure stuff. Like, but it's like it just boggles your mind, like how much of a student they are. Well, just this last time when he was just in, we were sitting out there getting tickets organized and stuff, and he's telling us how 
Ultimo Dragon's grilling steaks out on a grill while they sit by the pool and stuff. That's who makes the best grill. Uh, he makes steak. the best steaks and all this <laughs> stuff. Ultimo like, Dragon. Who He's gets like, to sit by a pool and eat steak with Ultimo Dragon? You and know, a, the kid used to be eight years old sitting with us in the crowd, like talking about, "Oh, I took Ultimo Dragon's mask three times." Like, are you? Are you <laughs> what? Like, like, what? And, and then, like, but his, but the, but his, his house is so nice and everything, and he makes the best steak, like bar none, the best steak I ever had. And I'm like, <laughs> are you serious? Like, this boggles my mind. Oh like, yeah, Sam. Sam was always like. It just watching anything and everything he get his hands yeah. on, and, and, I and think Saint, it shows. He reminds scared. me of a lot of guy that's wrestling right now in the area. Lee, oh yeah, Lee, Lee oh, wants yeah. everything he can get oh, his hands yeah. on. Yeah, like Lee's somebody I can go and be like, "Hey, did you see that progress?" And he's like, "Oh, that was killer." Like, like a lot of the, a lot of workers don't even. I, I see Lee being the future of the business. Oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. I, I think Lee just needs to get Lee that more already. I don't yeah. know if he said his last name. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. sorry. I should we're, specify. We're terrible we're, that. There's other people watching here. We need yeah. to make sure they know who to, to look up on the YouTube. Smile, smiling Lee Moriarty. Yeah, yeah. Smiling, smiling Lee, Lee Moriarty. Moriarty, of course. <laughs> oh, geez. Um, what is Black Saber Jr.? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what? Black Saber Jr. Black Saber Jr. Jr. Yeah, it's oh, Lee Moriarty. Yeah. <laughs> There's actually a question in the chat room oh, no. from uh, Morgan. Scariest indie moment you've ever seen, not counting last night. Kid Cupid fell off the ring apron. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry. That was I'm scary. sorry. He anything, was... anything starts with Kid Cupid. <laughs> you mean he, the table didn't break? Yes. He was supposed to go off of the ring apron through he's the a, table at ringside. And he's a larger fellow. He is. He, yeah, he's, he's, he was he's, large at that time. Oh, yeah. He's, he's about probably bigger than. And he, he's about your size. I'm small. <laughs> he bounced off the table. The table tipped over with him. He landed on the back of his head. Right in front of us. It was a good 10 feet away. Oh. I mean, yeah, yeah, we thought he died. Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> I actually went to the hospital with Stacey Hunter that night because we thought Cupid was like seriously injured. Jeez. And we got in the in the hospital room and he's like, hey guys. And we're like, Cupid. <laughs> oh, like, I'm trying to think. Cupid. <laughs> Like I, I, Union Town IWC shows, I broke up, drunk fight. Like oh, yeah. that, that was horrible. Like probably involving Gambinos. No, no, no these were between Tracy's, twins. Tracy's oh. mother. Well, his mother's calling people in from the crowd too. But oh, but like I, I remember I was standing down there and there was two guys over by the bar and I'm short. But and they, 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 <laughs> no, they, tell they, us what we don't they, know. They, they were about a foot, both guys were about a foot taller to be. So I'm standing in the middle, like with my hands, like like guys, you don't want to do this. Guys, you don't want to do this. And all of a sudden, Glenn Spector see me from up in the balcony, and I said, "Help!" And like all of a sudden, he comes running down, and these two and Big Tom and a couple other guys that was over at the gimmick tables came running over and like helped me disperse it. But like Glenn just and Glenn told me, "Guns like I just seen you going, no, 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 like." <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty scary. I mean, that happened almost every IWC show in Union Town. Union Town, yeah. That's because they had the bar. They had open bar, yeah. And, they, yeah. and that's why they loved IWC there, because they would sell so many kegs of beer. Injury-wise, over the years, I don't think we've seen too many scary injuries at ringside. Mad Mike get lit on fire. I saw Mad Mike get lit on fire. I did see that. That was... That was not, weird. And not, not the sword. I'm going to say, Mike. to clarify, yeah. <laughs> not the Mad Mike from Poughkeepsie, New York. <laughs> Although that Mad Mike was actually employed by WWE. Yeah. So I want to point out the, our Mad Mike. Uh, this has been a contention on the show for a while. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Uh, it was P- Matt, PWX Mad and Mad Mike. Mike. Yeah. It was Mad, it was Mad Mike and Boomer Payne and a tables match. Yeah. And uh, the final spot was Boomer was going to. They, they put, I want to say a power, power driver. They put a, too much alcohol they on the table. They put too much alcohol on the table. Oof. I mean, the table was flaming blue. Mm-hmm. Oh. And he bro- took Mike through it, and when Mike came up, his whole, from his knee down, was on fire. I mean, it was glowing. I think, I think we this weren't was, there that day. No, you guys weren't there. Norm got busted open in Cage Fury. Yeah, that and, was... Because Norm, oh. Norm and Mike, Norm and Mike ended up in the same hall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because Norm had to get stitches put in his, yeah, yeah. Stitches or staples put in his had, forehead. He had a, a cage door uh, yeah. uh, jacked him in the face <laughs> as he was making his entrance. Evanescence. To right. Evanescence. Evanescence. <laughs> um, somebody, at one point on the show when people were telling me about this, because since it was before my time in indie wrestling, like, I think we made like a repeat video to Evanescence of it having. Like, I, th- boom, I, boom, I think boom, I remember boom. that. Like, boom, boom. Like, they, have, they have Missy from the show who was like an IWC super fan. Uh, for us, was uh, was 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 one informed and found the clip and everything. So I think I might have put that match on YouTube just because of that moment. Oh yeah, yeah. How's the rest of the match? Like uh, Shane Douglas. It in was the something. Mat and Michael Shane was in. No, that. Shane, Shane didn't show up that no, day. Was, it was oh. supposed to be Shane, Chris Candido, and Bam Bam Bigelow, like the triple threat against the IWC triple threat. Uh, Bubba Sh- the Bulldog, Jimmy Vegas, and Dennis Gregory. Right. And then Bam Bam Shane canceled a few days before. Bam Bam, 
I don't remember. I don't remember. So you guys, did he fall asleep in the car or something? I don't what? remember the story. Uh, that, like, yeah, it was some kind of story like that, and he just didn't show up. So Michael Shane and Punk got put in. Yeah, there. Michael Shane was the replacement for Shane Douglas because they both have Shane in their names. And, that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that's indie logic right there. Yeah. And uh, Candido is still there, and then uh, Norm was supposed to be the third guy, got the cage to the face, and then CM Punk came out, did the crappiest elbow off the top of the cage. <laughs> His words. Uh and then Kenny saw that Mike kept it on fire. Well, anyways, you guys do have, of course, uh, this was, I, was this the, was Tom Powell Cancer last year the first show you guys put on? That we ever promoted ourselves, 100% ourselves. Yeah. 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 So, so first of all, what took you so long? <laughs> I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Cause there's, I know some people that get into it a lot quicker. <laughs> well, see, ever since my mom had passed away, mm. she passed away of cancer. My grandma also passed away of cancer and, We've been kicking away the idea around for a while about yeah. doing a cancer benefit show. Brandon K just happened to get the building. Mm-hmm. Was doing rides out there. Yeah, the, the, yeah stronghold rides. Yeah, within yeah. within like three months of him running the show. I mean, we were we were out there pretty much the first like within we were the first couple him out weeks. Stuff and, yeah, and mm-hmm. we've known because we've known him forever. And we mentioned it to him, and he was like, "I'm all for it. Like, let me talk to my other partners." But I'm sure they're going to and then like and his wife I've known since kindergarten. His parents are just like. Like Kenny's just seen Brandon's dad in uh, Walmart the other day, and his dad was like, "Hey, kid, what's going on?" It's like, I'm calling him a kid, like really, but they they were all for it, and and Brandon's like, "Tell me, it's your building, you run the show, you know, we'll go for it." Like I have nothing, I'll sell the nachos. That's what mm-hmm. Brandon always jokes about. I'll sell the nachos at your show. So yeah, Brandon gave us the opportunity, and hey, he's giving us a second chance to do another one. Mm-hmm. We've before the whole stomp out cancer came along, though. We toyed with the idea of run, like running here and there, but mostly, I mean. I've, I've seen my ideas being used at IWC, BWX, and like more just giving ideas to the promoter, to booker, or whatever, and mm-hmm. without having to deal with that whole business yeah. deal. Right? Yeah, I personally yeah. would like to do my own thing. Yeah, I, w- I would like. <laughs> I would like to, but not in. That, I mean, that's the future thing. You know, it's gonna yeah. be. I, I not in the general area. Like yeah, even yeah. I don't. Even yeah, we don't want to step on anybody's toes or anything. Like there's Green County don't have anything. Mm-hmm. Washington County does doesn't have. Anything. And we do have a problem in this town where it seems like a lot of these promotions are kind of bundled in the same region. Fifteen minute radius. Yeah, yep. yeah fifteen minute radius and uh, running shows the same night. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, pretty bad. So it's this year. This year has been pretty pretty good about that though. Like mm-hmm. almost every Saturday, you can go see a different promotion that offers you a completely different product. Mm-hmm. And I, I mean, it's really nice this year. I mean, there's still still some overlapping, but yeah, uh, yeah. We we saw that. Uh, um, um, I remember we still need some updates, but PittsburghWrestling.com, we had the, we were putting out together the calendar. Yeah, it was Matt. something like. I was planning on talking to him about that today. <laughs> oh, I, uh, but anyways, uh, it's all me for sl- slacking on that. But uh, but yeah, when I was putting all those in, it was just like, wow, it's like January, and you could watch a show every weekend until the last week of, of March. Yeah, it's Sounds incredible. Crazy. Yep. So. Yeah. I get how you guys get to like ninety two like shows, yeah. you know, especially I mean, we're, with all the promotions we're, around here. We're at thirty one, I think I, I posted yeah. the, the for the poster last night. Mm-hmm. Which mean and last year we didn't get to thirty till like August. So I mean la- last year was a and, lot tighter. And and along with that, like even though that we have this like two bunched up, everybody's doing hot crowds. That's yeah, yeah. On the same night against each other. Yeah, like, like cool. which which shows the separating of the audiences, oh yeah, you know, mm-hmm. and just to, like how big that is. It's, uh, Super Indy had a huge crowd, and, and I had a kid handing out uh, flyers over at RWA, and mm-hmm. he handed out every flyer I gave him, and it was mm-hmm. like close to three hundred flyers. So mm-hmm. I mean, like, and so I mean, and they had they were up against Super Indy, yeah. and apparently the Slayer concert was a big uh, yeah, yeah. contention yeah. for them, oh, yeah. <laughs> both in front of and behind the curtain, I guess. Uh, uh, I, I, IWC <laughs> had a huge house too. I, yeah, yeah, I told I told Plummer, I, I tell Plummer every IWC yeah. show. I don't know what we're doing right. It's always been a consistent product. It's always yeah, been, yeah. it's always been. It, it, and people complain about IWC. like, Oh, back when the such and such, and they were yeah. doing such and such, and this didn't really work out, but it was still always a quality always show. Quality. Even then, if the storyline wasn't what she wanted it to exactly. be. Exactly. But, but we, it, we didn't change anything really. Mm-hmm. We had like, we haven't, changed our advertising strategies we haven't you know done anything as far as like trying to widen our audience base Mm -hmm. it's just wrestling's hot i think it's the wrestling's Wrestling's hot right now like like what we watch well i i mostly more and more me watch a lot of shows and like AEW 
they, there are huge crowds like PWG selling out like within minutes. It's oh, yeah. not just mm -hmm. it's a, like, and it's a celebrity thing down there now. Oh, absolutely. PWG, yeah. right? they, I listen to uh, Doughboy's podcast. Um, they they go to chain restaurants and judge them. They have comedians on and talk about it. And um, they had Gillian Jacobs from Community, and uh, she's on like a Netflix show. I can't she she's hot. Um, she's from a lot. <laughs> I, yeah, I, yeah, I dig her. Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> she uh, she's. Well, they were talking about how she used to go to PWG shows, and they had this like this long conversation about how these these guys went to PWG and she went to PWG. There's like and Sofo so Sophia Vergara from yeah. from Topanga was there too, man. Was that Tup Topanga? Topanga was yeah, there. Yeah, she, she got goes a picture. PWG. Yeah, she got a she picture with um, Leo Rush. Leo Rush, yeah. She, yeah, like his last show, I think, one of his last shows. He sold his last T-shirt uh, and his last PWG show to uh, Topanga. Topanga. How Jeez. epic is that? that <laughs> it's the <Wow>. dream. <laughs> So there's room for more, of but course. Wrestling is yeah. so hard. Yeah, yeah. And you, any promoter that says it's not is because they're not look, doing their job. They're not doing their job. Yeah, yeah. They, like, I, I still hear promoters say, "Oh, we're we're not drawing well because wrestling's not hot right now. We're not through a boom period." Bullshit. There, are other people are doing, doing the right period. thing. And I think regionally, you know, it, it, you need to learn how to talk to that region, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Or you're doing something like an IWC that is like has a good online presence oh, you know yeah that br are bringing people yeah. in from let's because i remember iwc when i first came people regularly came from harrisburg oh yeah oh, and yeah. Spiker remember, and yeah. Judd and that, yeah and, uh, and, that, and that changed with like gas prices and things like that yeah. and people had to make decisions with that but i was actually just talking to spiker this morning for a little bit i yeah. still see him on facebook here yeah. and there too um, so yeah but i mean we get people coming from west virginia oh there's people regularly it comes down from uh on the, uh, over the border in New York, what, isn't that the, 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 the uh, husband well, last wife? Last show, I, I, yeah, yeah. The right. husband yeah, wife, yeah. And they, they come husband down every show. They're in New York. They're not even over by Erie. They're more towards central Pennsylvania. Nine hour drive, Jeez. they say. Yeah. Nine hour Jeez. drive. Just on Friday to watch and wrestling I'm like, in yeah. Pittsburgh. And, and not, I mean, not to be ignorant, I'm like, there's no wrestling near you. And they're like, you know, there is, but we like coming to IWC. And I'm like, reason, come on down, man. The reason he started coming down there was for Adam Cole. Yeah. He was a big Adam Jeez. Cole and fan. And he got hooked on wrestling. And he got, he got hooked on IWC and they've been back ever since. Yeah. 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 And it's something to say for then, that. <laughs> I mean, in, in RWA, people travel from. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, obviously, I know we know some people are coming from like like West Virginia and right. thing, things yeah. like that for for rise, and that's like an hour south of Pittsburgh, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. So it's definitely definitely pretty cool. So so you guys, of course, you, you did the first one, um, and it was it, it was it was a who's who of Pittsburgh wrestling right now and the past. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, guys like Norm Connors that we talked about. Who uh, Norm Connors? You know, if you're like you don't know who he is. Um, I believe he was brought up in CM Punk's uh, documentary with WWE when they did his mm -hmm. set. And uh, uh, famously, when I think, was it when Punk turned on the old school ECW guys, you heard Sandman saying, what about Norm Connors, man? You <laughs> I know, that. like way back in the day when they're doing the new blood and all that kind of right. stuff. Right. So like, like, so uh, yeah. he's a guy that has a name out if there. I, if I get out of it. If I, I have was... a rest, if I have a wrestling dad, I would say it's Norm. <laughs> like, and I, I, and I, he knows that. It, like, Norm, Norm, I think the story was that he was the first guy to fly CM Punk or buy a plane ticket for CM Punk at Gold Cabana or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that, that's that's Norm's claim, not his claim to fame, but like that's. But but so yeah. so tell tell me about like what was kind of the goals you know talent wise when you guys were putting together that first show. Last year it was we we mostly wanted to put like first time matchups and like. We had free reign because Quinn, Plummer, and Brandon, they didn't care who would book. Like, they were like, you okay. know, feel bad and feel yeah, bad. Yeah. All promoters. Yeah, like everybody was like great with, you know, no mm -hmm. matter what you need. So, it, like, we knew to keep the guy strong. You know, we're not yeah, going to, yeah. like, bury your champion or whatever. And we just, our main goal was to, to put out first-time matchups that people would be like, oh, yeah. I want to see that. Like, I believe that was... Sean Phoenix and Lee was yeah, the big Sean one Phoenix, from well, that one. Or? Yeah, yeah, Sean Phoenix and Lee, Doe and Raver. Mm -hmm. Like, I, when I remember when I put that match out, match out, I got hit up like by like crazy because people was like, "Holy crap, how's this never happened before?" And stuff. Like, which, mm -hmm. which I have to point out, and I pointed out to Shirley last night um, that my favorite moment of the show was I'm going to kill G Raver for charity <laughs> <laughs> or for cancer. I'm sorry, I'm going to kill G Raver for cancer. <laughs> I, I fucked up the line. Which needs to be a T-shirt, right? <laughs> like we put, we had Matt Connor and Lawless against each other. It, had, yeah, it ended up yeah. being the opening match, but like that that match was like we talked. We well, we I remember we were sitting around and we're like, oh, that's intriguing. Like that's never happened again. Mm -hmm. That's what we're going for this year. Like first time matchups, like Sean Phoenix, Sean is, super Phoenix is super hentai. Yeah. Oh jeez. That's, yeah. that's a match in the making, literally for like fourteen years. Yeah. Like, 
I, 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 I don't know if you've seen Phoenix's promo or not, talking about where he made a homemade Phoenix mask when he was 14 sitting in the crowd. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, and he, he has pictures. In the promo we, we posted, he actually has pictures of where Hentai let him put him in a headlock, mm-hmm. and he does that with fans now. Like, it influences him that much. And like, I just had a kid... Yeah. I just, I just had a kid hit me, or a guy, I say kid, he's going to be like 29, I think he told me. <laughs> he used to come to IWCs regularly, and he's like, cast kid's going to take on hentai. And I'm like, because Sean Phoenix was always known for sitting front row and having a cast on his arm because he was stupid and did backyard wrestling. <laughs> that He's like, cast kid gets to take on hentai, I have to come to the show. So he's coming down to our and show. Was, when he was a fan, and I first like started talking to him as a fan, he, was, he wanted to be Super Hentai Junior. That was what he wanted his wrestling name to be. Hmm. He wanted, or, or it was like Super HJ, like Super Hentai Junior, something like that. That was what he wanted to be. So to see him like grow as he has, like, and become the performer he is, and now he finally gets to have that match, mm-hmm. it's it's gonna blow my mind just right. to see that. I mean, we had the idea and we went to him. I said, we we said to Sean, we said, Sean, what do you think about wrestling hentai? And you would. Have- Guys, you would have thought it was Christmas morning. Like his, my, he got a smile so big, and it was like, really, you guys would do that? And it's like, like, for for sure, we want to see it for one and two. I know the fans will be like, oh, this is, you know. Mm-hmm. And he was like, so, and then I told Hentai about it, and Hentai was like, oh, I definitely want to do that. I, you know, I can't. Yeah, wait because for this. he wants to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to def- definitely pay some dues in that match. And like, he's definitely we, we have Idol, uh, Justin Idol versus Chris LaRusso. Uh, that match happened back in 07 for CWF. Mm-hmm. Since then, and they Manesson. haven't... Huh? In Manesson. In Manesson, yeah. Like, probably in front of, like, 100 people. Yeah. But the way they both have changed in that li- in that time, mm-hmm. like, it, and it's so intriguing to me. Like, I can't wait to see them guys. Because it to me, it's I think it's going to be a classic just out of the gate. Like, I'm trying to think what other first-time matchups we got on the show. Basically, we book like fans. We book the matches we want to see. You know? <laughs> hey, hey, it works for it works for AIW, right? Right. So, yeah. You know, I mean, they're they they're like, I want to. Uh, what do they want? Like, like Dan Severn just to hear his music or something, <laughs> right? I want to like, see, see Colonel Parker again. Yeah. <laughs> so let's bring in Colonel Parker. <laughs> hey, he is a cool dude. Bring him back. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I mean, and it seems to work. I mean, everything they show well, it was a lot of fun last year. You know, we had a, there was a lot of great moments there. Of course, mm-hmm. put a lot of clips up from that. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to change up the question. I know I kind of like vetted you guys, the questions, uh, uh, in, in the front here, but what was the best and the worst thing about running your first show? The best part was making the, raising the money and seeing Pittsburgh United, mm-hmm. seeing no egos. There was not one guy who said, Oh, I'm not going under on him or I'm not doing that. I'll, it was like, whatever you need for me for the show. Mm-hmm. And, and for me personally, it was booking norm. <laughs> like, uh, like, not to sound like I'm off like a mark, but, like, I got to book the guy who pretty much gave me my start and, like, let me on the inside of – and, and, and Shirley Doe, too. Sure, because I talked to Shirley Doe way back in, like, 90, 96, 90, right when I first started going Podcast to Podcast dogs excited, too. <laughs> so, like, being able to book those guys and then them guys talking to me, I, like, Norm asked, how did your pre-show meeting go? And I thought it went horrible. Mm-hmm. I was like, no, people respected him. Nobody was catcalling him. Like, no put me over. And I was like, wow, this is this is pretty cool. The That's worst awesome. thing was, there was, there was I don't want to, I don't want to start no trouble. Uh, <laughs> just some people having differences about who you booked. And yeah. that same thing this year. Some people aren't happy with everybody that's booked. But Yeah, yeah. Well, you're going to have that. I mean, you know out there everybody's interacting just um, stupid wrestling just stupid drama, wrestling yeah. stuff yeah. But, but as long as you're putting that positive uh, note out there yeah. you know that, that kind of works for you it, it, so so it was kind of you can say that you were on the other end of the hot dog in the handshake with Norm yeah, Barnes yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly thanks, thanks a lot kid yeah <laughs> thanks a lot kid yeah <laughs> <laughs> well you there's, that's one thing I, I, can't, I can't say enough good stuff about the guys mm-hmm. the guys come out they're donating their time they're wrestling on the show you know that that to me comes off that that's that's huge. Yeah. They're going to donate their time to uh, help us out. And yeah, like forty plus dudes just being like, yeah, like to me that's awesome. Crowded like, fucking locker room right? by the, back there. By <laughs> like, the way, like this year we have so many guys yeah. coming from Ohio. I think we got like twenty guys coming from Ohio. Which yeah. is, they're, they they're coming in on their own. Yeah, they contacted me. Like they just want to be a part of this. I, I mean, I I can't get over that. That's great. Because I I didn't I didn't reach out to nobody in Ohio really because. I'm not asking you to drive from Ohio for free. Yeah. And, yeah, and, yeah. and you know, take away when you could get a booking out there or something real close or something. But no, people reached out to me and was like, yeah, I want to I want to be on the show. And I was like, this is odd. like, 
this is great that these guys want to are invested that much. They want to, and they want they like guys have said to me, I'm it's an honor to be on. Really, this is the second year we're doing this. It's an honor to be on the show, but like it's great that some guys see that. Like it's because mm-hmm. it was it was it was probably my favorite show last year. I've had yeah, wrestlers. I've had wrestlers. Absolutely. I've had wrestlers tell us that show last year changed changed any wrestling in our area. I, I to me I don't I can see it I think so. I can see it uh, from this side of the coin because yeah. I, I feel like that that set a tone it, that that you, is is it, carrying this it, year it got you down to rise more mm-hmm. like after that show you started coming to rise I got more. to see the ven- to society too. I got to see the venue um well since since I had been there for VOW right. and I got to see um a lot of the talent that I, I normally don't get to see um and that's why I always like things like VOW they were like like out there. And I see, get to see people interact that I usually don't. Right. And that's what a show like yours is always fun. I, I try to hit up a charity show like that. A Double Budokan show was an early experience oh, for me. Yeah. Like, uh, that's when I was just getting into that side and seeing these guys interact. And I didn't know, um, you know, half the guys on the show because they were PWX guys. Right. I didn't know anything about, right? You know, and, and, and I don't even know who else was running at the time. Um, but, uh, you know, that kind of experience. So it, The Double Budokan show was the best worst show i've ever been to <laughs> like it was it was so it was awesome to see all like the camaraderie and everybody just come mm. together because because jimmy devil budokan was like mm-hmm. he was everybody's wrestling wrestling dad like he he was everybody's best friend and the, the the fact that he passed away it really impacted a lot of people and the fact that we had to be there to have the devil budokan memorial show was like the worst thing ever mm-hmm. and with stomp out cancer it's it's cancer sucks but it's it's everybody trying to be positive and come together and mm. we don't have the it's it's in memory of people but we don't we're not memorializing them. that's not the reason to be there it's it's to raise money for the american cancer society it's being positive it's it's i'm trailing um <laughs> no no well you're you're running into a good close of the show actually like, like, and, and this is the point yeah <laughs> one, one of the best moments is like when denny hugged me and denny's like your mom would be proud of you oh. and like i that's the one time in the night i almost cried like i got choked up a little bit and he's like because he's he was talking about stuff and i'm like he's like your mom would be proud of you and i'm like okay okay denny i'm gonna go over here <laughs> <laughs> well after the show it, the not a lot of people have i don't think a lot of people seen the picture like the group photo that was taken on the ring oh we killed kay fabe when we took that picture yeah where yeah. some people said <laughs> um whatever yeah but <laughs> it, a lot of people had trickled off because it was it was getting late and yeah. people left but there was still like a lot of people just wanting to hang around and just we they wanted to get a picture together because I, it was mm-hmm. such a positive experience such a such a a happy i think it was a happy hangover for at least a couple next yeah. couple months oh yeah people still had that like mm-hmm. like and right now there's still like there's there's a lot of positive stuff going on right now and, oh, yeah. and I, I'm, I'm hoping this just keeps it going like forget about the all this negative talk and everything it's giving it, pittsburgh wrestling a happy enema yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, it, sure very desperately <laughs> needed last year i think yeah i, th- I think last year like and I, I and i hope I hope this year some we got so many guys coming, young guys coming from Ohio. Oh, I yeah. hope this this skyrockets. We get some, get some new faces in here and mm-hmm. like it, it, like we've known the mega guys for a long time. And if that helps them get some bookings, like we got Chris Cole and Arrow booked it, helped them a long time ago. I mega hope, championship wrestling. Yeah, I hope them. I hope this helps get some younger guys in here, new faces and new matches. And I, I told you, I think people are gonna if if any wrestling promoters are there that night and they see Paxton Calloway come through that curtain, they're gonna. It's going to be a, a, a was it a sellout of the monitor or whatever yeah, you want to call it. Like I, we talked about be... this is the seven foot giant that that Mega Championship Wrestling has. I, we talked. I think we talked about it down at Black Diamond maybe, before maybe, maybe. because Rick 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 like I think Rick was talking about bringing him in too. And I was like, if any as soon as a promoter sees this big guy, and, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be all over him. But like, there's Trey Lamar's on the show. Trey Lamar, he's there. gonna be, but he's gonna it, be a star. And again, so stuff I've been saying, like I saw the Mega. Uh, a champ, uh, wrestling match come up is like cool. Well, here's a bunch of guys I haven't seen yet. Right. Oh yeah. You know that like, I'm going to get introduced. Well, these, to That's why the I guys love about in that it. match besides Brandon X, maybe had some of them might not even have five matches. Wow. Yeah. yeah he's bringing uh, Brandon X is bringing a training class with him. Fudo's been around for a couple, uh, maybe for a, a year or two. I think um, I've seen him in BDW. He's at Royal. Yeah, yeah. 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 He, he uh, teams with Hooven and yeah. make a championship wrestling. Oh. And shout out to Dan Hooven. Yeah, they were the what, what, Sorg's best friend. What were they like? The Korean? <laughs> they were Korean. The Korean. What were they? I don't remember. I forget what they yeah, yeah they do the whole Korean game with tag oh, team yeah mm-hmm. but uh, uh but Brandon X has been around forever. long time I yeah, think we were around when Brandon X first started going like when we was doing a newsletter out there we seen Brandon X debut now Love these, Impa. yeah yeah <laughs> we're seeing now all these young guys he's he's putting through so yeah, so 
Is there going to be a tag gauntlet again? No. Oh, <laughs> come on. That <laughs> was the longest idea. Okay. pre-show that was, that match that I've was ever Jesse's seen. Idea. Let's go okay. back to the best and worst thing. That was the letting Je- letting Jesse, <laughs> Jesse let, had talk me idea. into that idea. Like it was better idea in theory than in execution. Okay, oh, oh, because yeah. we had okay we like like Matt said we had all these guys like hey I want to be a part of this mm-hmm. I want to I want to I want to help out I want like, to my, be... my mom or my dad yeah, or my, my grandma mom... passed away from cancer yeah. this helps me more honor them yeah, it's you like, can't say so no to that that's no, why yeah, that's why yeah, I'm yeah. doing a show so yeah, the, like yeah. I want to give them this chance that... so we had so we had all these guys and we're like well, what do we do with with uh what was it um like Lord Zoltan you know Zoltan and Justin Sand Justin and Zoltan Sand. yeah like, they were they were going to be in the eight man and then uh Zoltan had to go had double to leave early yeah, double. so what do we do with Zoltan and, and Justin Sane? Well, let's have a tag on it. <laughs> and, and then it steamrolled, and there was like, what, eight teams? teams? I, I think that Something thing went like 45, 50 minutes. Freely, it is freely available on the YouTube channel for IndieWrestling.us. You can watch the whole thing. God bless you. That's Sorg's, uh, way, that's Sorg's way of saying I wasn't putting that on the DVD. It well, no, 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 no. That's my word. That's my my saying. There's no room on the DVD. That would have been nice. a dual. That would have been a dual disc if you'd have done that. Yeah, I, yeah, I also, refuse to do dual discs. That would have been its own disc by itself. We also Thanks, had, Jesse. We also had AIW kids come in because uh, mm. Jake Clemens uh, and Dominic Greeny both yeah, talked about. And, yeah, Jake Clemens and, and Dominic Greeny. They uh, they Jake wanted to come in to ref the show and he's like hey i can have a couple of kids from the iw school come in and and wrestle so we had uh the, the, the party never stops twan and tucker and tucker. big twan tucker and parker, parker pierce they, yes. they came in and and uh, they were part of the tag gauntlet and what do we do with party we, never stops we got what uh, five guys coming in dominic do you talk to oh, dominic this year again? Had, uh dom and uh uh he 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 could he wanted to do the show but he has he's got evolved. Evolved. He has evolved yeah. that night so he's sending Trey Lamar, uh, Wes Barkley, uh, was it Zach? What's his name? Zach, Zach, Tom- Zach Thomas Zach now. Thomas. And, uh, Silas, Silas Morgan. Silas Morgan. Okay. Yeah. Zach Thomas. Uh, and um, who's the other one? Take one. Huh? Was it TKD or whatever? TKD. TKD. TKD yeah. And uh, Ryder. I always, forget. I always forget, I forget his name and I feel bad every right? time. <laughs> yeah. And it, Ryder. It just, again, I haven't Tom- seen you the third time to know you. Right? Tom Kwan <laughs> Tom Kwando. Tom Kwando, TKD. Huh. <laughs> you see, a few, a few of those huh. guys will be in a battle royal. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Trey Lamar. Trey Lamar is going to be in a four way. Okay. We haven't announced that yet. We haven't yet. announced, we haven't that, announced yet. that yet. And, uh, Can that be an Indie Mayhem show exclusive? Sure. Yeah, Trey Lamar versus, <laughs> versus Lewis versus Zach Thomas versus Jamie Jameson. First match back from his injury. Wow. So. That's the opening match after the pre show. Yep. That's the first match on the show. It is? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a lot of fun, guys. Um, Stomp Out Cancer, PGH.com. It's June 23rd. That was a Stronghold Arena in Lamont Furnace, PA. Really cool venue. Uh, we've talked about it with Brandon Kay, of course. A really cool old theater that, uh, you, know, they're, they, you know, again, it's, it's cool that they have, like, a place where things are and they can set them up and have been improving. It will be a better experience even than last year in the physical venue because of the stuff they've been doing there since, since mm-hmm. we've been there first. The video screen up. Between lighting and t- video screens and... And, and and the concession stand and well, I mean that was there but that's always just awesome. We got some, uh, we got some great uh, raffle items. Did oh yeah, Chinese we haven't talked about the raffle yet. Yeah. There's like, a raffle. Jesse worked his butt off on that. Gateway yeah. Clipper, Jesse like, Science Center. Off. Like um, every single Pittsburgh business organization, whatever you can think of, I emailed them. Pittsburgh yeah, Steelers. Yeah. Uh, I yeah, the Steelers donated an autographed Antonio Brown picture. Like that blew my. They were the first people to, to donate something. That we, was, we got a couple Corey Gray day by autograph day by tens nice. coming in. So. Yeah, nice. so it's we it's yeah. There's a lot. Of this stuff. is the this is the <laughs> um, oh what do they call it? Uh, when it, whenever like a a, a a rapper or somebody like does the all the guests on their album, yeah. it's like we, it, this is this is when we pulled our industry card. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Well, the um, the one that really blew my mind was the Carnegie Museums of Pittsburgh. Really, they donated a year long family pass worth one hundred and fifty dollars. Wow. It's uh, two adults, four kids, and a, and a caregiver. Like you can bring grandma along to watch the kids <laughs> oh, while wow. you go to the museum. Uh, it's a year long. You can go to any of the four museums, which is like the there's a natural history museum, mm-hmm. art museum, uh, science center, and the Warhol. Mm-hmm. And it that one hundred and fifty dollars. That's amazing. Worth, like they just they were like yeah. Absolutely. Anytime you guys need anything, let me know. They're good. They're great with that. Yeah. That's awesome. Scarehouse. When yeah, Scarehouse. Scare yeah. Shout out to Dutter. That's awesome. <laughs> shout, out, shout, shout out to Missy Sorg, who hooked that up. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And, of course, uh, if you guys, you know, the last uh, last year's is available 
Um, part of the proceeds do go to the same uh, American Cam Cancer Society. DVDs are on their way of last year, and uh, we'll definitely get the second one uh, up a little quicker too. So uh, we, actually, we did have some DVDs. This is a second run of them technically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, have, we had some more London. Have we said the date? Yeah, uh, June 23rd. Times, yeah. June 23rd, <laughs> and it'll be in the description and everything, too. Okay. But in the meantime, you know, a lot of people do to catch this afterwards. Um, it's really great. Just look out Stomp Out Cancer. Check out the YouTube videos. And and above all else, if you don't if you don't check out the show, buy the show, um, in, in the long run, this is awareness for a really great cause with the American so uh, Cancer Society. Uh, obviously, you know, something that's such a lot of people's lives are involved in, something like this, or you wouldn't have... Uh, 40 deep right. in the backstage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's not, there's not that much room back there, guys. You, I think you can throw a stone and, and hit somebody that has been affected by cancer somehow. Yeah. It's, yeah. Like, like everybody knows somebody that's been affected. Yeah. I, I think it's the, the thing they usually say, right? Mm -hmm. And and that's absolutely the case. And um, um, uh, honor that you let me be a part of that, at least. In, you were the you second know, person I talked to about it. Yeah. After oh, I yeah. Talked to, yeah. <laughs> I said, after I talked to, after Kay said we could do the show, I'm like, if we're doing a show, I want it taped and look great and i i came to you at mm. pwx and i was like hey you feel like helping me out and you were for without even, we could fulfill one of those yeah two. without without, <laughs> even, without even it get like you didn't even ask details you're like yeah we're there mm -hmm. i'm like oh. yeah it was so yep. like i remember coming upstairs i'm like sork said i'll do it sad i won't be there but uh, we do have some crew members coming down so we'll get filmed and and we'll get it out yeah. there too i'm in nebraska i'm mm. sorry business yeah. business <laughs> You know, next oh. year, next year we schedule around after his trips are over. Oh yeah. Is that <laughs> yeah. it? Yeah. Uh, no, cause no, I want you no. at the show, man. You don't have, you have to do that, but, but no, no, thank you. That's Quick awesome. question. Sword. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. You just, did you just, <laughs> did you just flip the interview on me? You are professional. <laughs> if, if, if this is a success again, we're talking about doing one in November. Okay. I want your opinion on this. All survivor series matches. Absolutely. All weird teams. Absolutely. You know, like back in the day, Survivor Series. But only yeah. like only like five or six matches. Yeah, only like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there was eight guys in each match, which like, yeah, that's... <laughs> but yeah. But I, I think that would be uh, awesome to do. I think that'd be great. Yeah, we're talking to different areas in Allegheny County and, mm -hmm. and Washington County and stuff right now, so... Stop talking cancer on tour. Uh, uh, <laughs> real quick, Jerry from the chat room, Jesse Madden, Kenny, make uh, Pittsburgh Indie Wrestling what it is today earlier in this, in this chat. Who said that? Uh, that would be Jerry out there. Cool. Um, Thanks, Jerry. Yeah. And uh, is that 18, Jerry's Potter's, 1888, Jerry? Oh, well, what's that? Is it Jerry's 1888, Jerry? Jerry Kalen? No. Jerry no. Harper? Is it Harper. Jerry Harper. Oh, QB. Oh, QB. QB. Timothy Titan says, love these dudes. Potter says, HQ for life. <laughs> oh, That's right, they're, Potter. They're, they're, that, was, that was the name of our old apartment. <laughs> and we, some, we can't yeah, talk about that. We can't talk about anything. No, no, that happened. no. Like what happens says, the HQ stays in the HQ. Yeah, what's Potter say? That's all you need to know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. And an amen from him as well from... Something we're getting into. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Uh, thanks, guys, for coming in here again. Uh, it's been thanks great to see us. you guys over the year. And, uh, and, of course, when we do a deep Pittsburgh people that have been around for a while, it goes an hour on these shows. But I think it's a great conversation. And if you're uh, into the scene, new to the scene uh, that's happening here in this area, or just been like, what the hell's happening over in Pittsburgh, guys? What's up, Cleveland? Um, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I love Cleveland. <laughs> I secretly love Oh, Cleveland. God. Oh, my God. I the know. wrestling. It's a whole other animal out there, I and know. I love it. Like, I, I miss the days going up for Prime. Got oh, to yeah. see the one. I got to see one AIW show, and God, I got to get back. Look, man, you they know. have Melt, and we don't. So they have what? That's what? They have Melt, and melt? we don't. Melt bar and Oh, Grilled cheese oh, place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I think I've heard about this. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, now I'm getting hungry. I gotta eat more than a banana. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Stomp out cancer, pgh.com. Right? But I ain't stolen yet. Chain for the pain, cocktail ball set. Never said I was a gangster or thug, but I'm an animal. Peanut for the taste of the blood. Six, 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 you know how I act now. If you got a problem, come and see if I'm a back down. Wow. Steady sipping check now. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.